Good morning, Ravens. On today's special senior edition of ONW Now, we have stories about Officer Curtis, sports recaps, and Special Olympics. Let's get started. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. Many of you know Officer Curtis as our school resource officer. What you may not know is that an event from his childhood helped shape his future as a police officer. Joe, no one knows why it happened. A teenager walked into Atlantic Shores Christian School and started shooting. In 1988, Officer Curtis was only in 8th grade when he was in the room right next to the shooter. The sights and sounds are still very vivid for him 25 years later. We heard what sounded to us like firecrackers uh, just outside the classroom, and our teacher just yelled at us to get down. I remember hearing everything, hearing the screaming, hearing him hit the wall when he got tackled, um, and our clock fell off the wall. The shooter was Nicholas Elliott. Officer Curtis had been acquainted with him. Elliot's motive was to seek revenge for bullying from another student named Jake. It was um, when he went to shoot at Jake, the gun jammed, um, and so he was trying to get it unjammed, and then he was tackled by the teacher and several students. After having been through such a traumatic event, it impacted a young officer, Curtis, who hoped one day he could prevent such things from happening. You know, if I can be a person that can either stop that before it happens by taking care of somebody who's being picked on or stopping a fight before it happens or before it gets out of control or whatever the case may be or unfortunately if it does go really bad then I want to be the one that stops it. Officer Curtis is always reminded of the shooting as he walks our halls. It makes him think of the what ifs and how he would react. Um, and every day I think about it, I walk into the building and it's always in the back of my mind of, you know, maybe it's for just a two-second thought um, as I'm walking through the halls. Where would I go if this happened? What would I do? After 25 years, Officer Curtis still remembers all the trauma this event caused and it has impacted him to be a better officer and to protect our school. For ONW Now, this is Allison Cook. Last weekend, the Special Olympics were held at Blue Valley Northwest, where several ONW students competed. Tyler Sotart was there. This past Saturday, the Special Olympics were held at Blue Valley Northwest Stadium. A handful of kids dealt with disabilities took the chance to prove some of their many talents. ONW's own Sam Charpentier competed in the 100 and 200 meter races, winning both, as well as coming out victorious in the long jump event to make it to the state Special Olympics in Wichita. I thought it was pretty cool to be able to see him get out there and do what he wanted to do and have fun because he really likes to run, so that's what he got his chance to do. Not only this, ONW's Josh Simpatelli competed and proved his talents in his race. Inspiration was an understatement. Um, it was inspiring to me, my friends, my family, just about everyone who was there to watch him because he overcame adversity and did what he should have been doing this whole time in running Special Olympics and showing people that just because he has special needs, it doesn't mean it can't hold him to doing nothing. This has been Tyler Sotar. Now back to the desk. The industrial tech class is raising money through the interesting project they are selling. Elena Gray has the details. The Intro to Industrial Technology class is creating dartboards for their final project. Matt Moorefield explains the process of making the dartboards. Uh, cut the baseboards, stain them, seal them, and then nail them together for the final project. The class is split into two different groups. One group does mass production of the dartboards and the other group manages the CAD design. So you can buy the boards for $40 each and you can buy as many as you'd like and it's in room 1727 which is down in the aerospace and engineering hall. Yeah, come on down and buy some. Be sure to support your fellow Ravens and buy a dartboard. For Own to Be Now, this has been Elena Gray. Now back to the desk. Now let's go to Game Day Northwest for a recap of games from last week. The softball team is off to a hot start this year. Kyle Vitasnik has a report from last night's senior night game. Last Thursday, the Olathe Northwest Ravens took on the Shiny Mission North Indians for Seniors Night to honor the graduating seniors of Katie Hamke, Michaela Warren, Kelsey Wright, and Maggie Berg. 
the Ravens beat the Indians as they scored 15 runs on 18 hits, with an astounding performance by Natalie Hamm, who threw a no-hitter in four innings. In Game 2, the Ravens won 13 to nothing in five innings while giving up only three hits in their final game at home. The Ravens have only a few games left, so come show your support as they finish off their season and have high stakes for bringing home a championship from state. The Ravens hope to continue their success into next season with the returning juniors playing in their senior year as a Raven. From ONW Now, I'm Kyle Potasnik. Now back to the desk. On the baseball diamond, Austin Hansen has been pitching lights out for the Ravens. Brian Wolford has this report. Uh, so, Austin Hansen, you had uh, five innings pitched today, 11 strikeouts, and with no, no one runs. Uh, how did you feel you pitched today? I pitched pretty well. I was throwing quite a few balls, but I was able to fight back in the zone and strike a lot of guys out. So, close game today, but you guys ended up pulling it out, 5-4 to four in nine innings. Uh, what were the keys to the team's success today? Well, today uh, I think the defense was our biggest key. Uh, no errors. Our defense played really well. Alex came gave me a bunch of really nice plays in center field. And, um, you know, in the first five innings, uh, Austin Hansen, he shut them down. I uh, just ran his pitch toll up too much, but had a lot of strikeouts and did really well, really good job, and, um, you know, getting bunts down in the last inning. All right. So who do you think was, like, the MVP and who stepped up today in today's game? Well, I mean, I think usually you have to go, when a starting pitcher goes five innings, giving up no runs, I mean, Austin was huge. He got the bunt down in the ninth inning to help us get that rally. Um, he was really big with that. But, you know, Morgan getting a walk in the ninth inning and getting a big hit in the first inning to help us get those first four runs. All right, uh, thanks, Coach, and great game today. Thank you. Finally, the soccer team celebrated their senior night last Friday. Alex Kigo has more. Last Friday night, the ONW Lady Ravens soccer team played their senior night game against the Shawnee Mission North Indians. The seniors, led by captains Darren Ireton, Abby Moore, and Bailey Williams, helped the team to an astounding 9-0 victory. Senior scorers this night include Abby Moore, Darren Ireton, and Eden Opie. Two unusual goals were scored this night, a free kick by Darren Ireton and an own goal on the Shawnee Mission North Indians, assisted by Emily Kemp. Sophomore Tatum Heller also stepped up and helped the team out with a second half goal. Other senior leaders include Shayla Mokel, Shelby Mokel, Zoe Pulford, Morgan Elitrash, Becca Hill, and Jessica Beal. Make sure to come out and support your Lady Ravens this Thursday. For ONW Now, I'm Alex Kegel. Back to the desk. Thanks for watching this edition of Game Day Northwest. Be sure to get on and watch our sports teams as they wrap up their season. For Re Quinn Barkum, I'm Grant Nicholson. Now back to the desk. As seniors wrap up the year, we asked them to reflect on their high school experience. Here's word from the halls. No. Okay. I don't know what to say. Tell them. Just tell me what to say. Uh, what do other people say? Um, I don't know if I would change anything, but I would say I would probably be involved more. I would have focused more on doing the things that were important to me. And I wish I would have taken senior year seriously. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. I wish I would have branched out and gotten to know more people and made more friends. That makes me sound like a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Be more friends. I wish I had friends in high friends school. In high school. <laughs> and, oh, um, I care less about what other people think and have a lot more fun and like do high school for me as opposed to like other people, you know? Yeah. It's definitely worth it though. It was. Yeah. Yay, we're done. <laughs> that was good. Thanks, guys. Now let's check out this week's weather report. Good morning, Ravens, and welcome to this week's edition of the weather forecast. Today we have a high of 88, and it's going to stay sunny all day. Tomorrow we have a chance of thunderstorms with a high of 72. Friday for that senior picnic, we have a high of 70, and it's going to be cloudy all day. Saturday for all those grad parties, it's a high of 80, and it's going to stay cloudy again. Sunday and Monday we have a chance of thunderstorms, and it's going to stay in the 80s. And Tuesday we're going to keep it in the 70s. Thank you for watching, Ravens, and back to the desk. That's it for the senior edition of ONW Now. The juniors will take over the show in two weeks with the final episode of the year. For all the seniors, I'm Brady Armstrong. Thanks for watching.